try to live by those values. When you come here with all your enemies from different parties, once you reach the ATM, please forget about those, about those enemies. Once you are here, you are in, at the safe, in the safe hands, not only of the nation, but of God too, because it is in forgiving that you are forgiven. Learn to forgive your past and learn to get into your future with love. This is a movement which is a peace revolution. It is peace oriented, peace, peace driven. Without peace, we cannot bring the nation together. We can only bring the nation together and be able to make the nation to liberate itself when you are in a peaceful mood so that we inject that peace within ourselves as it is injected as we inject it within the people that we are talking to the, the the transformation needs us to be transformed so that we are able to transform others the african transformation movement we are here to forge unity amongst the africans we are here to forge unity amongst humanity because when we speak of an african we are not speaking of a white person nor a black person we are speaking of the original person that was created by god with the soil of africa where god put us this mind will help us to help others this mind will help us to diffuse this killing mentality and all these material gains that are being pushed by other political parties in order to drain the African riches. You see, once we become selfish, all what will happen will, that, will be the, 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 the depopulation that will happen because we are trying to grab all what the country has for ourselves and others will be hungry and they will be poor forever. We are not here to make other people poor, but we are here to distribute the resources that, government has give, that, that, that God has given to this government so that everyone may live in harmony and everyone may enjoy being an African in Africa. Fellow brothers and fellow servants, be warned in squabbles. We must not join hands with people who are causing squabbles within the organization. If you are looking at these people, they are all selfish people who are here for their selfish gains. The first thing that we need to do is to try to talk this selfishness out of their brains because they are good people the only thing that must be left uh, out out of them is the way they think selfishness it's what kills